So what do you call it when eight of your best AI minds vanish in a week? No, it's not a mass kidnapping. OpenAI calls it theft. Meta calls it recruitment. What we call it is the greatest AI talent heist of 2025. And you know what? It's only just begun. Meta just pulled off the boldest raid in AI wars yet. In one week, it has snapped up Shengya Zhao, who is GPT-4, Jiao Hui Yu, ex-head of perception at OpenAI, Su Chao Bi, multi-model lead, Hongyo Ren, trained O1 Mini, O3 Mini, and our very own Trapit Bansal, yes, IIT Kanpur alma mater, who was also the core of OpenAI's reasoning models. And earlier, it had already lured the Zurich trio, Lucas Baer, Alexander Kulisnikov, and Xiaohu Zai, the same team that built OpenAI's European muscle. How bad actually is it for OpenAI? Mark Chen, OpenAI's chief research officer, said it best and probably with a little tear. It feels like someone broke into our home and stole something. Very poignant. And just as OpenAI shut down for a company-wide mental health break, Meta found the opportunity to turn up the heat with offers rumored to exceed $100 million in signing bonuses. Sam Altman's response None of our best people have taken it. But internally, OpenAI is already reworking compensation plans and really fast. It's no longer just a talent war. It's an athletic showdown in the world of AI. Some actually are calling it the Ronaldo moment of tech. Signing a top AI researcher today, it's like buying a Champions League striker in the middle of final season. And just like athletes before a high-stakes match, OpenAI shut down for a week. Not for code push, but to let their team rest, recalibrate and breathe, which is what they need to do right now. As Meta circled them with offers they literally couldn't refuse. Mark Chen warned staff. What he ended up saying was this, Meta knows we are taking a break and they're using this to pressure our people to jump ship. Well, this isn't just a flex. Meta is building a fortress called Super Intelligence. And to do that, they acquired 49% of Scale AI for $14.3 billion. Brought Alexander Wang on board as Chief AI Officer, tried to poach from Safe Super Intelligence, SSI, co-founded by ex-OpenAI CSO Ilya Sutskeva. They even targeted Daniel Gross and Nat Friedman. Well, this isn't just hiring, it's actually chess. And Zuck wants checkmate. What is OpenAI's counter move? Well, that's important. While Meta throws money, OpenAI is going for soul. Yes, they just acquired Crossing Minds. It is actually a startup which is focused on AI that truly understands user. And how does it do so? Not just what you will click, but what you actually care about. They are now rolling out ChatGPT memory features to free users. A very quiet play to deepen stickiness, trust and long-term user affinity. Also in the works is a new social media platform powered by ChatGPT, designed to outsmart X, not scroll it. So what's really at stake? Let's go ahead and figure that out. It's not just about building better models. It's actually about who defines the AI experience, who wins the trust of developers, and who controls the next global attention platform. Altman believes ChatGPT can replace Facebook, not just Google. And Meta on the other hand, well, Meta just wants to build what OpenAI already has. This is no longer just a talent war. This is actually a culture war. Mission versus money, focus versus flash, super intelligence versus super compensation. And for now, the board is pretty much split down the middle. Meta has momentum, OpenAI has the mission. And somewhere in between, the smartest people on earth are picking sides. 
So basically, if I were to sum it up for you, it is OpenAI is building soul. Meta is buying speed. And this is tech's version of Moneyball. And the season's just begun. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share and subscribe. And always remember, think AI, think AIM.